A surrealist western directed by Alejandro Jodorowsky, El Topo is rotten to the core. By that, I mean that hardly anything in this weak, unfocused film works. The film's narrative is divided into two parts, and follows a black-clad gunslinger named El Topo, played by Jodorowsky himself, as he treks across the desert. On the urging of his girlfriend-slash-captive Mara, the curvaceous Mara Lorenzia, El Topo sets out to defeat the four desert masters and become the greatest gunman in the land. I was prepared to go along for the bizarre ride, so what if the characters are barely characterized? Hodorowsky has a commanding presence, and the film sets up a dramatic goal for him to follow. The film's first half presents itself as a weirdly compelling parable on how ambition can corrupt us. And since El Topo is a gun-wielding hero fighting enemies with distinct powers, El Topo kinda feels like a Mega Man game on shrooms. A film that doesn't make sense from a real-life perspective can still make sense on its own terms. Take Eraserhead and Uncian Antlu, for instance. But El Topo's main problem is that it doesn't make sense within its own crazy internal logic. Each gunmaster apparently represents a different religion or ideology, but their character designs are too esoteric for me to tell what philosophy they supposedly embody. Their insights feel contrived or even nonsensical, and their defeat at the hands of El Topo, aside from a very cool, cunning act of trickery against the second master, feels like a cop-out. The fourth master just kills himself, and El Topo ultimately kills the third master with no resistance. It's like how Darth Vader killed Obi-Wan far too easily during their languid fight scene in A New Hope. More importantly, Mara tells El Topo that she does not love him, but will love him if he defeats the Gunmasters. Gee, I would have thought that she didn't love him because he raped her less than a minute before. After El Topo wins against the fourth and final master, he is struck with remorse for his actions. However, we get no sense of why El Topo feels regretful. The Gunmasters were not antagonists and had no ill will toward the hero. They were just wise people living out peaceful lives, so you sympathize with them as El Topo murders them. They just simple people, want simple life, simple land, simple thing. But the film gives no impression that El Topo feels this way. With no clear reason for why El Topo feels remorseful, his quest for redemption feels hollow and lacks emotional weight. Aside from El Topo's son returning as a grown man, the film largely discards the Gunmaster's plot thread, much like how Mulholland Drive effectively retcons itself by the final third. Since the narrative's second half, with its blocked-up cave of deformed people and a town of depraved, rowdy cultists, makes only scant references to the gunslinging first half, there is little sense that El Topo is helping the deformed people to atone for his past deeds. Since El Topo seems to be acting as their savior for their sake, in and of itself, the film's first half feels pointless in hindsight. Besides, why would El Topo dig an escape route for the deformed people that leads to the town that ostracized and entrapped them in the first place? That plan makes no sense. And if the cave the deformed people live in was sealed up for all this time, then how did they get El Topo there? And I was really puzzled by the omnipresent Freemason symbols in the cultist's town. El Topo isn't a total waste. The score is grandiose and weird, and there are some enjoyable, subtle moments of bonding between El Topo, his dwarf lover, and his adult son. The cinematography is excellent, capturing several striking images. The climax, in which El Topo exacts revenge on the townsfolk for killing his friends, is also incredibly powerful. By the way, I have to point this out. With his big bushy hair and beard, Hodorowsky looks like Michael Sheen, but when shaved, he looks remarkably like Simon Pegg. Ultimately, El Topo is not a good movie. It doesn't even make sense within itself and this confusion contributes to how unengaging it is on an emotional and dramatic level. El Topo earns two stars out of five. Thanks for watching. Cheers.